it was strictly closed circuit. See, you got guys today that's with top rank. I was there from the humble beginning with Bob. Right. I know him, Bob met him, all of them know him. But as I said many times, as I told Brad Duke, I told you, I told Andrew, and I told Bruce Tim, Debbie Heen is the best out there. Mm. He's a, not only because he's a Muslim, he lives right, he do what's right. And speaking of doing what's right, I got to get on your car for that shit he did in Vegas. I ain't forgot about it. What's See, that? What happened in Vegas? Guys today, they don't have the character that I'll leave. Ernie Shea with Michael Spinks, Joe Frazier, all those guys, Ray Robinson, Dick Lamana, my dear friend, Carmen, late Carmen Mazzilio, great middleweight, watering champ of the world. Guys that they don't have cars, they got too many hang on her. Look at it. Look at it. Now, you here in the lobby partying with your son's friend. That's why that shit jumped off with the kid before here. See, because the father entertains that. The, the, the scripture said that a child is only good as the parent. Not saying that Debbie Henry is better than these kids that fight tonight. It's the character that Bill and his mother distorted him. Wow. See, you're only good as your team. If you got a fucked up team, that's, that's what's going to happen. And I know Brad, good, Brad Jenkins is going to take care of me. That's my guy right there. <laughs> Brad, you got me? I see you when you come down, brother. <laughs> Shout out to Brad. Yes, you know what I'm Brad saying? That's Jacob. my guy, Brad Jacob. Yes, 40 sir. years, Tampa, Florida, with John Beast McGarvey. <laughs> 40 years I know Brad Jacob. We've been proud of together. <laughs> the whole thing I'm trying to say, a guy is only good as his team. And the people around you. And you got guys around you that never had what it takes. to do what it takes. Right. Now, not saying this, because Devin is my nephew, and I'm close to his mother, father, and grandmother, and Brad Goodman. Now you take her. I known her 36 years. She's been the same. She's been the same. <laughs> Only one that cursed Don King out. Only one that cursed Don King out. Zuma Nelson and Archibald Martinez. Only one that cursed Don King out. See what I'm saying? So that shows you the character of the people that you've been around. Right. I've been knowing Miss Jackson 36 years. Right. And always been all right. Me. Her daughter and her niece are my people. Right. So you, when you got people around you, that's not for you. Mm -hmm. You got a bunch of hangovers. <laughs> I'm saying, you. I mean, when you got a, a guy, and you know we both love Devin and love Coach K. Now, I said a while ago to Coach K, and I told him he got a call. And I said, listen, I spoke up for you, right? Because Coach K is the perfect guy for Evan Holy here. Mm. When you got guys around you, not saying the guy he got, that's not a good guy, mm -hmm. but you got a guy that can teach you more, more than boxing. Mm. Not saying that Andre Rosario is not good, but certain guys are good for certain guys. Right. A lot of it has to do with chemistry and stuff. That's the business that we are in. So guys got to understand the business that we're in. When you entertain yourself, see I'm in the gym with Devin when he's 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. I'm in the gym with him in Las Vegas. Right, right. When his father right. had a gym called Hit Factory. Hit Factory, right. Bill Hain is my guy. And his older brother, they're my people. Right. But what I'm saying to you, AT, God is only good at his team. Devin team, with the art straight, focus. Solid. To, to get the job done. And what really did it, when Lou DeBella called him, said, go downstairs, your father's here. Wow. That really put the, uh, not saying that Joel Judah couldn't get it done. It's my man, Joel Judah. He did a tremendous job, Joel Judah, in that Yes, camp. he did. 
I interviewed him as well. Because he, he came job. back. You said you yeah, yeah, I saw back. you well, Jude. I got a nice interview with him. <laughs> and, and it shows you, bro, in this business, I've been in this business most before these people was born that hang around these spiders. <laughs> because they don't understand the game, the business part of it. All this is good. But you got to be able to understand the business part of it. Absolutely, because it and is a business. What makes this thing take? And Brad Goodman, you know, is my guy. Shout Brad Jacobs him. is my guy. Mm -hmm. I've been with these guys. I've been the same crazy wild thing. I never forget. Brad Jacobs called me August third, nineteen eighty four. The fight the next day. I'm in Philadelphia at Joe Brady's gym. He called me. He said, "Big Leon." I said, "What's up, brother?" He said, "I need you." I said, "What you need?" He said, "I need you. You to bring me some guys." I got on a plane the next morning and took him what he need because I already had Frank the Animal Fletcher fighting John the Beast McGarvey. Right. Your character. See, these guys don't understand. Hang around these fighters. When the fighters lose, where these guys going to be? See what I'm saying? Right, right. Everybody riding with you when it's over. Uh-huh. Out of all said and done, with Tim was. Me and his family, only one left that was there when he was on top. Same thing, same thing with, same thing with Mitch Green. Right. I'm the only guy that still, still holler at him. Prince Charles Williams, my fighter, light heavyweight champion of the world. I'm still with him. All the girls, all the hang on us that I was giving tickets to because he said do it, because he, he was the boss, I'm there. I'm still with him. That's right. my man. That's, that's, that's my fighter. But when we won the championship against Bobby Chad, 1987, <laughs> like I told Devin, I couldn't go to, I, Bill would, would, would make sure I got there, but that, fuck I'm going to ask Ted, too old to be traveling 42 hours. <laughs> but when I steered in Devin for the last four months, stay focused, pick the right team. You want to eat, you going to eat and drink for the next nine, 10, 12 weeks, Gambosa. All the tricks, Devin stayed, he stayed focused. He didn't try to, to knock him out earlier. Like Telefimo, the Telefimo was sick and the cancellation of all the fight. All that played a part. Right, right. But Devin was focused. He stayed calm. That's one thing you all Judas said. Devin is so mature. And he was yes. able to stay calm. He behaved like a professional, you know what I mean? For 23, 23 years old. Unbelievable. They he, did a great job on him. I, 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 I mean, Joel Judas. He was, he, was, he was a kickboxing champion. He knew what it takes to win, what it takes to get there. And, 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 and that's why, much as I love Danielle, Daniel, I love him as much as I love Zaya. But Danny's problem was, Danny Judah's problem was he never was focused like Zaya was. Mm, gotta be focused. He, Never separated this. See, the problem with the fighters today, they don't separate the street from the gym. You can't do both. No, you can't. That's what I loved about Aaron Superman Davis, who got gym up in the Bronx. Mm. Aaron Davis was always focused. Had Billy Giles with him, who had Camacho from the beginning. He, when you got guys around you that care about you, not about the fame, not about the tickets and stuff, you're going to be all right because they got your best interest. They're going to not let you get into nothing. Right. See, the fight of the day with all these fucking underrides, it's crazy. It is crazy. It's what a... you need a fucking underrides for? Right, right. Mike Tyson had one five people that Mike Tyson had. Mm. The fight of the day need a bunch of fucking underrides, a bunch of hangovers. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Right. Now, um, being that you uh, clearly have Devin's best interest, you know what I'm saying, what would you think he should do next? You know, should, I mean, the rematch is contracted, so we might get that. But what would you like no, to see it's, Devin? It's not going to happen if it don't make sense. The mm. clause is there, right. but it don't make sense. Right. So what, what, what do you think, Devin, what would you like for Devin next? 
I want Devin to rest, take care of his family, go to the drawing board and see what's there. I don't like the Lamacheco fight. For what? <laughs> Lamacheco couldn't see. People not gonna buy. People that's mad at Lamachenko and the Klitschko brothers, y'all fighting in an unjust fucking war. It's an unjust fucking war. Right. Go ahead, stay over there fighting the fucking war. <laughs> fighting the fucking war, man. But but if this fight was to take place, you think Devin beats him? Devin beats Lamachenko. Right, right. Lamachenko is 37 years old. Right. And you got all these guys hanging around these fighters today, a bunch of fucking hangovers. The only one guy, <laughs> the only guy that I like that's around the fighter is our man, my man. Pablo? Pablo. Oh, yeah, Pablo that's my two. man, boy, Pablo. Pablo. Shout out to him. Pablo, my guy. <laughs> he my a real guy. one, he a real one. He's a real street nigga, the real guy. <laughs> interest of the fighter. Right, See, right. not only the fighter, interest in the fighter. Fuck this here, Pablo get his own money. He got his own business, and plus he's a fighter, right, so right. he understands the business. Right. That's what, as a kid, I used to dwell in Devin's, learn the business. You see how Devin was talking about Jack Johnson? Uh huh. See, the guy is focused. Love to see on it. what's going on. Uh huh. Guys today, I ain't never hang around in no lobby looking for no fucking fighter. Fuck out of that. I'm a businessman. It's ain't personal. It's business. All the time. <laughs> Devin here, I'm glad for your brother. You did your uncle a good job. Shout out to you. Tell grandmama and your mama I love them, baby. Bill Haney, you got it done, baby. Yoel Jude, I'm very proud of you, brother. As always, you got it done with Devin as you got it done with your sons. Absolutely. Zab, I love you, baby. We're going to stop here. Mr. Haney, I'll call you soon. Now we got to go to Miami, Florida. All right, let's go to Florida, guys.